What's poppin' Cougs? Welcome back to another episode of Coog on the Clock. Uh, I'm your host, Alex Huddleston. I'm Mati Tenney. Perfect. We have uh, a couple topics for us today. Um, we, got some, we got some women's apple cup, which, you know, that's exciting. You know? Sweet. We can't say what the crowd says at the games, but, yeah. Uh, Tom Brady FTH. possibly retiring. And we're not <laughs> Tom Brady possibly retiring, and then some NFL football. So, uh, with that, let's get in the show. All right. All right, first topic, we have the Women's Apple Cup Basketball, Women's Basketball Apple Cup Series. Um, so, you know, two yeah. wins over the Huskies. What, what do you got to say I'll about it? I'll take a sweep. Uh, I didn't actually get to watch the game uh, real time. I watched fake some fan. highlights. I'm not a fake fan. I'm just <laughs> actually, Friday was my birthday, thank you very much, oh, the Happy 28th. birthday to Mati. That happened. Um, and then yesterday I was preoccupied with work, doing some other stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was watching. Let's get to the game. Yeah. So I watched highlights. Uh, the first game, uh, I noticed uh, Crystal Ledger Walker was really taking away the first half. Mm -hmm. Both both Ledger Walker sisters. They they did they did play very well uh, this weekend. Um, mm -hmm. Crystal was dominating in the first half. Uh, I also noticed a big post pre presence by Bella Murakakit. I don't know how to say her name. How do you Mur say it? Murakatate. Tete. Wait, I have it. Murakatete. Murakatete. Bella Murakatete. She was pushing girls over. Uh, I think she had three blocks in the first Dude, game. She was a menace on the court. <laughs> she, she, was she was a no, menace, she was, especially she was late, late in the game when it, you know, it was coming down to the wire. Yeah. That when she, she helped a lot on defense, especially in that comeback. And free throws. Her, she was amazing at the, at the free throw line. Yeah, and it might have just been the, the highlights I was watching because it wasn't the full game, but mm -hmm. I did notice a lot of three-pointers towards the end. Yes. Um, it was raining. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. The, no, the first game won 60 to 56 yeah. in overtime. Overtime. Uh, 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 Yula Motuga shot a clutch three in the end of the game mm -hmm. to push us into overtime. Um, they had one last defensive drive and you know didn't, and they kept the Huskies out of the net. Uh, I'm talking like it's football, out of the net, out of the end zone, whatever. You know, <laughs> they didn't score. That's what I'm talking about. Um, uh, uh, the the Leger Watcher, Le Leger Watcher, Leger, Leger, Leger Walker Leger sisters, Walker. Ledger Walker, Leger Walker, Leger Walker sisters, uh, combined for a total of 32 points in the first game. 32. That's I mean that was that's over half of the points yeah. that they scored. <laughs> so I'm, that's that's yeah. pretty good. Uh, in the second game, uh, I noticed that number 32 for the Huskies is really tall. She's six she foot nine. She is very tall. Six foot nine. Um, at the end of the first quarter, Johan Joanna Tedder mm -hmm. had a big full half court shot. Which was nothing but net. Um, the Huskies right. couldn't stop our mid our mid range game early. We were hitting a lot of mid mid range shots. I feel like that was our game from the beginning. Like yeah. UW only won the second quarter. Um, that was their only one where they won point wise, and there's right. only like two points. Right. But yeah, so our, our mid range game was going very clutch. Um, the Ledger Walker sisters were on fire again, and Joanna Tedder in general was just making incredible shots. Yeah, 16 points for her and 19 points for Charlize. That was, I mean, a great, great night, uh, great weekend, honestly, for the women basketball team. I did see an incredible stat. I think it was that only three of the p of the players on our women's basketball team are from the United States. Wow. <laughs> I found that. I mean, inter I, international recruiting at that's, its finest. That's <laughs> perfect. It's it's working. It's yeah. working, and that's all that matters. Can't complain. Um, I think with that, we're gonna go on to the next. Perfect. Trevor's on it today. There we go. go. Let's do it, Trevor. Out of boy, Trev. Yes, sir. <laughs> on to the next topic. We have uh, Tom Brady and his retirement rumor, retirement rumors that were spread Saturday. Right. So the first thing I saw was the Adam Schefter tweet, mm -hmm. or sources per Adam Schefter saying that Tom Brady was going to hang it up, that he was done. And then I saw that he wasn't done. Right. And then I saw that the I think it was the the general manager of the Bucks said that he hasn't even talked. He to hasn't him. talked to him. Yeah. And then his agent put out a statement. And then Daddy Brady came out and. And then Daddy Brady da went Daddy on radio. Brady it, Brady's dad. I just. Tom Senior. Yeah. Thank said, you. He said he said that he doesn't plan on retiring. <laughs> um, but <laughs> as we've seen, uh, I mean, 22 years. I wouldn't be surprised if he hangs it up. Um, I think it's been incredible. I mean, he's been playing longer than I've been. I mean, either, yeah. either one of us has been alive. Oh yeah, no. I mean, he was he was drafted two years before. I, actually, the year that my parents were uh, married. So oh, that's, nice. Yeah. Oh, do you, mom Congrats and dad? to the Huddlestons. Yeah, there, there <laughs> we are. Uh, just here's some here's some here's some stats. You know, he has five Super Bowl MVPs, uh, three NFL MVPs, um, 
15 Pro Bowls appearance, well, not appearances, that but doesn't elect mean selections. Anything. Pro Bowls don't mean anything. Yeah, it does not at all. But you know, it's still you know, it's still fun for the fans. Um, he has 316 games started out of eight, uh, 318. The first game that he played in, he only got a couple snaps because so. Bledsoe went out for a second. And then WSU alumni. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> in 08, you know, he got injured against the Chiefs in Week right. One, so that's that 18th game. Right. Um, he had he had uh, he went 243 and 73. 243 wins out of the 318, 16 games. Mm -hmm. That's in no ties. That's amazing. 84,000 yards, 624 touchdowns. And, and if he doesn't retire, it's still going. It's still going. Um, in the postseason, it's 47 games started, 35 and 12 in the postseason, uh, 13,000 yards, 86 touchdowns, and he's seven for three in Super Bowls. Hell yeah. I mean, right now, uh, ESP, I mean, ESPN's on record. They're not. They're standing by their statement. Mm -hmm. uh, Ian Rappaport, I saw, saying that he believes that it's probably true. But that's up to Brady. And a lot of people believe that the final episode of Man in the Arena, which has not aired yet, is going to be <laughs> the retirement announcement, potentially. That'd be pretty cool. But um, on his podcast, he has said that he is day-to-day -day and is nowhere closer. Would you, okay, would you see him playing in the future? I can see him playing in the future. Yeah, I can see I, him playing for 10 more years. Yeah, 10 more years. <laughs> I'd as, <laughs> and this, this is hard as a, as a football fan to say, I want to see him get 10 rings, in my opinion. Like, he could be the backup quarterback for a team that goes to the Super Bowl. But I don't think he wants to do that. But I would love to see someone with 10 rings because I don't think anybody else ever is going to be able to achieve that. In Do you my think opinion. he's going to go into coaching? Maybe. I'd say, we, we, I would I mean, say probably 20 years. I mean, we've seen Philip Rivers go and well, he's, he's coaching high like school right 80. now. In 20 years, he'll coach? <laughs> I, no, probably like in 10 years. <laughs> someone will sign years, him in as a quarterback <laughs> coach. 20 years, he's going to be walking on a cane. Get out. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, okay, boys, get out there. He already you know? is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> uh, we got we got to move on. But yes, uh, Brady might be retiring, so we'll keep you guys in the loop. And I'm sure you know the NFL and other professional sources will also keep you in the loop. We're professional, though. We're very professional. Clearly, we have a teddy bear on our desk. Um, the next topic we have NFL championship game, championship weekend. Joe <laughs> freaking hey, shiesty. Sorry. Uh, well, we. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Oh. I wonder what he said behind that bleep. I don't know what that word was. Joe uh, Shiesty. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> my bad? <laughs> hey, it's my first business. It's give your me, first time. Me, I'll, let, I'll let it slide. I'm surprised uh, I got this far with that accident. Bengals. <laughs> <slide. laughs> Bengals beat the Chiefs. America In won. Amer America won. America this won. was America's victory right here. Jackson Mahomes, get out of here. Uh, Brittany Mahomes, Go spray your champagne out of there. <laughs> I don't care. I want that ketchup eating mac and cheese dude out of here. Ew, what? Mahomes? Yeah, he eats his ketchup with his mac and cheese. Oh, Kermit the Frog sounding. Anyway. I don't want to do the voice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway Evan McPherson Evan, with the game winning. The kick. second time he's upset a team. The second time he's done that with the, to the Chiefs. His I'm jersey is sold out. I'm sure. I'm sure to, to, to you know, want to be kickers everywhere. Uh, all those high school kickers that think they're never going to get anywhere with their leg. And destroying. You, did you? That's right. I, <laughs> never going to make it to the see, league. Dude, Evan McPherson had a, has had a great postseason. Um, He's had a great rookie season. He's a rookie. Rookie, right. Uh, so, Joe, so Joe Burrow, with, with this win, uh, has tied um, – or no, no, no. He has won more postseason games – Yes, more postseason games than the Bengals have ever won in a single postseason. Because Sounds beforehand, good. they didn't have enough teams to do, you know, three rounds. Right. Now he has three wins in the postseason. Right. Uh, the last time the Bengals made the Super Bowl was 1988 against the Niners, and they lost because the Niners are goaded. Uh, la last time they made the divisional round was in 1990 against the Oilers, and they lost to, uh, to the Oilers. So, you know, it, this is history. We're, we're witnessing history uh, in the next few weeks. Um, fun fact, fun question for you, actually. Uh, what is similar between Joe Namath, Joe Montana, and Joe Burrow? Their first names. First names. Actually, what's also similar is that they all won, went to the Super Bowl in their second season. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's a fun fact for you. Now, the more you know. I don't <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anybody in America that's actually going to be rooting for the Rams in the Super Bowl. And I know we haven't gotten there yet, but Rams. Not all the Lions fans. Oh, the Rams won. No, this is a late. This one's going to go in overtime, Trevor. You don't have to ring the bell. It's okay. No, the um, Rams won. Because we haven't gotten to the Rams-Niners game. Um, yeah, no, all the Lions fans, 
you know, because everybody likes Matthew Stafford. You can't hate Matthew Stafford, really. I hate Matthew Stafford. Well, okay. And now we do. Um, beforehand, uh, this was definitely a Lions postseason because Matthew Stafford, you know, has given his life to the Lions and now wasted his career. So now he has this one chance probably to get to the Super Bowl. Well, he's made it to win it. Um, the Rams beat the Niners 20-17 to in an amazing rivalry matchup. Uh, the Niners going into this game were 6-0 and in the last – Mm, three six, years. Yeah, three meetings. Three years. Three years, sorry. Uh, the Niners, this was their second NFC Championship in three years, and this will be the second Super Bowl appearance for the Rams in four years. So it, it was yeah, a big, that, it was that a big bore game. Of, that bore of a Super Bowl. <laughs> it, <laughs> was a hey, it, it was exciting to me. I thought it was exciting. Wasn't it like um, three points? <laughs> it was exciting. It, like <laughs> it was exciting. I got to see the Ram, <laughs> a different team in the Super Bowl. I thought that's, it was cool. That's fair. Uh, this is Matthew Stafford's farthest trip in the postseason because, like I said, <laughs> he, played for the he Lions. gave his heart, his soul to just the one of the worst franchises in NFL history. Um, sorry, Lions fans. Uh, but let, let's go back to the game. So the game, uh, uh, SF had a very hard time running the ball, which is their strength on offense. Yeah. They could not run the ball. Debo. Uh, Debo ran the ball pretty well. Debo ran the ball really well, but he didn't. Ha he had seven attempts, I think, which is way less than they've had. He's had in the last like six games, I think. Uh, passing Garoppolo, you know, I think Garoppolo had a hell of a game, uh, in my opinion. This is my opinion. They're all laughing in the studio. I don't care. He did. Sherry went 16 for 30, but he had 232 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. The interception lost I don't think, the game. No, that didn't lose the game. There was yes, a lot did. of the things that lo lost the game. Fire Jaquaski Tart. No, okay, well maybe that. But okay, so 232 yards. Uh, didn't get sacked once, which you know has been a struggle for the Niners because their offensive line has been giving in a lot of sacks in the last few games. But this is the most mobile I've seen Garoppolo. He's rolling out of the pocket, passing out on the run. I, and this is probably Throwing the most it exciting. Throwing three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Whatever. He, uh, this is the most exciting I've seen him play, honestly. Um, but LA, I mean, LA's offense and their their. Madden Ultimate Team roster is it was just was you know they matched their strength. They stopped the Niners on the run. Uh, they did let up on the pass, but then our defense, you know, yeah, Jaquaski Tart. Yeah. That, yeah. If Jaquaski Tart never dropped that interception, the Rams never would have gotten a field goal to tie the game. True. Now it could have happened in another way. You know, there was there's still, I believe, like nine minutes left in the game. We were also up 17 to seven. We were. No, it's, 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 I don't blame this game on the interception, which a lot of people are on Twitter. I don't think – there was a lot of things that led up to this ending. Um, I, I just I, – I don't know. I, I'm happy with the season. I'm not salty at all, honestly. I mean, yeah, I'm upset that we lost. But I, at the beginning of the season, I said we were a playoff team. I didn't say, say we were a Super Bowl team. This has exceeded my expectations. I thought we were going to lose in the wild card game. The fact that we went to Dallas, beat Dallas, went to Den uh, Denver, been, went to Green Bay, beat Green Bay, and got to the NFC Championship and almost almost took the Rams overtime, not much I could ask for. Okay, so, okay also, why is OBJ trying to start beef with Robbie Gold? <laughs> Did you see that? He's trying to get in Robbie <laughs> Gold's face. He's a kicker. He's not doing any – He's. I mean, he's doing – Robbie Gold, I love you. Um, he's doing stuff. He's so like 80 years old. That's that's like the last person you're going to start beef with <laughs> on the field. I mean, I know going into it, Jimmy Ward was talking about how he's going to go after OBJ after that hit from the previous meeting. And I think he did, and OBJ was ready for it. But OBJ trying to start beef with a kicker shows how much he really has fallen off. Mid. Uh, there's a hot take. OBJ's mid. There's a hot take. Um, all right, well – that was a long conversation about a sad week in the football, but very exciting to see the Bengals and the Rams Super Bowl in two weeks. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a huge game. I bet you everybody's going to tune in for that game. I mean, that's, this is going to be probably one of the most, I think, watched Super Bowls in a while, in my opinion. There's two new teams. The Chiefs aren't in it. The Buccaneers aren't in it. The Packers aren't. It's not teams that have been, you know, dynasties. They're teams that have been working their way up, and I'm super excited to see the Super Bowl. I don't um, watch. All right, next topic. Last topic, actually. Uh, you know, with the loss, where do the 49ers go from now? Um, Secondary. <laughs> so it's now probably most likely the beginning of the Trey Lance era, um, which, you know, Here as head. a Niner fan, I'm going to be excited because, you know, it's a new start. And I've been saying I want Garoppolo starting all year. And that's because I wanted them starting this season. I didn't want Lance in yet. I wanted Lance to watch and learn and start, you know, 
maximizing his skill set that he has because he has a raw talent, but he has a lot of things to learn. He has a lot of work to do. Uh, what the Niners need to do this offseason, um, they need to go into free agency, look at cornerback position because the starting cornerback rotation uh, is either injured or not that great. Um, Jason Brett got injured at the beginning of the season. <laughs> uh, and then you have two rookies, Ambry Thomas, Diamond De Lenore, um, in that rotation as well as Kawan Williams. Josh Norman. Josh Josh, oh yeah, Josh Norman forever. He's Josh there. Norman. He was. <laughs> he was there sometimes. That's um, why we gave up so many pass interference yards. Yes, sir. That's why. Uh, but free agency needs to definitely check in on the cornerback position, uh, maybe some O-line depth. But that's about it. I think the team stays where they're at. Yeah. There's no need for anything else. The what, line, are looking the, about, what are we looking at for the draft, though? The draft, the, same I mean, thing. The Niners, Corner, are, the, Niners, no. the Niners are great at drafting. Yeah, I'd say draft, I'd say the cornerback position would be the main priority. Uh, O-line depth, and then maybe receiver, uh, wide receiver depth, depth, depth. Yeah. Um, that I mean, that's that's my opinion. I think that's the bottom line is those three things is what we need to work on this offseason. There's nothing else you need to look for. No quarterbacks, uh, no linebackers, but secondary, O-line, and wide receivers. Resign River Craycraft. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have, you know, what's your idea? Do you, what, what do you, what do you want I mean, to see them do? As, I mean, I'm still emotionally trying to recover from this. <laughs> um, <laughs> luckily, my roommate can't talk because he's a Seahawks fan, and they didn't make the playoffs. So no, they did not. Um, but they did I agree. I, I think we did a lot better. We did a lot better. We think there were a lot of games that we could have won that we didn't, um, mm -hmm. which could have put us in a way better position. I think that there were a lot of mistakes in that game that yeah. were easily avoidable. Um, it just leaves a sour taste in my mouth, and I'm really sad that it ended yeah. the way it is, and I'm sad that Jimmy's probably gone. Um, well, okay, but the, the, the thing is, though, is with how the Niners did this season, which is not how anybody saw they were going to go. They didn't sure. think they were going to the NFC Championship. Right. Maybe 10 wins. Like, that's, that's what everybody was like, okay, yeah, okay, we'll give you 10 wins. Yeah. Um, this, this tremendously increases, the, uh, in my opinion, the trade capital for Jimmy Garoppolo. Sure. So teams that are neat, like the but Texans. Do you, think, do, you uh, think, the I mean, do you think the Rams game hurt that? Because he didn't no. play. He didn't play well at the end at all. No, not at the end. But he was getting rushed the whole time. Uh, I I still think he'll be worth a, uh, a lot more than he was at the beginning of the season. So we will see how that plans out in the future. Niners um, beat the Bengals and the Rams, so technically we're Super Bowl champions. There you there you have it. Uh, yeah, that's all we got for this show. Oh wait a second, we have a birthday. Are you ready? <laughs> if he's bar I don't know if he's barking or if he's I just excited. Barking. Okay. <laughs> well, happy birthday to Dog the Bounty Hunter. He is 68 years old. Or is he? Next year. 69? He's 68 or 69. Whatever. But he's happy 68. birthday to Dog the Bounty Hunter. Uh, grew up on that show with mom and dad. Um, but yeah. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dog. Do you have anything to say before I we close the show? I don't, but I'm really glad that I was here for my first episode. Fully, Perfect. Fully. I'm glad and that not you just my cameo. That, right. But I can read Banana Facts again for the outro if you need me to. Very true. He's, by the way, guys, oh, this is the banana hi. guy. Hi, I'm the banana guy. Yeah, there we are. I don't have right. the suit on. <laughs> He's, a, this is what he looks like outside wearing, of I'm the field. I'm wearing a tie. Yeah. I had to tie it for him. He tied it for me. He, yeah. Well, he it was, tied it, it, was a, it was a dad moment, honestly. And then he took it off. And then I put it on and tightened it because I don't know how to tie a tie. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, make sure you go follow us on Instagram because we have a new Instagram name. It might be a little confusing. It is at Wazoo Sports Network. Uh, thanks for watching, and go Cougs. Go Cougs. See you next time.